has talked about WooCommerce. And um, for those who, who haven't looked at the stats, WordPress powers about a third of the internet. Yeah? It powers about 30% of the web. And uh, according to Ma Matt, who is uh, like the founder of WordPress, um, he envisions WordPress to be like uh, the operating system of the, of, the, of the web in the coming years. So if you consider, if you look at uh, that and you look at the uptake, WordPress uptake across the, co the, across the globe, WordPress is growing at a very fast rate. Yeah? More and more people are using it every single day. And uh, more and more people are using it to set up um, online stores for that matter. So I know you could consider things, you could look at the other, the competitors, you'd look at uh, existing systems like Magento. Um, there's a, which other one, which other system is used to, say to create e-commerce stores online besides Magento? Yeah, there's OpenCut, which other one? Yeah, so basically uh, we have a number of them, yeah? But uh, none offers the number of features, the number of benefits as uh, WordPress does, yeah? And um, I, 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 like talking, I like talking about this because um, if you look at our market, those of us who are in here, let me see how many of you have debit cards or credit cards for that matter? The truth is, majority of Kenyans don't know that you can use that card for anything other than withdrawing money at the ATM. It, yeah, that's, that's the sad <laughs> truth. <laughs> I am not joking, that's the sad truth. So the point is, if you are going to set up an e-commerce store in Kenya, and uh, you decide that you only want to accept payments via cards, that's going to be a problem because uh, half of your customers may not know that they, are, they can use their cards to pay on the site. So uh, when it comes to uh, payments here in Kenya, most people, most of us uh, prefer to use mobile payments. Most people prefer mobile payments. Either mobile payments where you pay via M-Pesa or via Airtel money, via Equitel, or withdrawing money from the bank and then depositing to your phone and paying via the same methods. So um, if you consider mobile payments versus card payments, mobile payments offer a certain convenience that you cannot match here in Kenya. Because for instance, if you're accepting payments via <coughs> M-Pesa, your money can either go directly to your bank account or your money goes to your phone number, to your M-Pesa. Either way, you are receiving your money directly. And if you consider the cost <coughs> implications, mobile payments are far cheaper to process and to move around the money than um, card payments. So it becomes imperative then that we need to figure, we need to make integrating mobile payments into websites. It's not just WordPress. Uh, this is particularly WordPress, but not just for WordPress. Basically, any Kenyan online store. It becomes imperative that we need to figure out how to integrate mobile payments into e-commerce stores. Now, personally, I have um, my journey with mobile payments. I have an artistic background. Yeah, I used to. I'm a. I used to be a performing poet, and uh, I'm a published author. And uh, at some point. I had, uh, I lived in the same house with a group of musicians. Uh, yeah, and we used to perform and we used to record music and release the music. And uh, at some point we needed to sell that music on our website. And we wanted people to be able to preview a song and if they loved it, they could either download it, they could buy it from their website. Or maybe pay some sort of subscription fee and listen to the song. That was the idea. So we set, up, we set up trying to see how best we could integrate a way of, for people to pay for this music on the website 
through their phones because come on how many of you um if you let me let me just ask how many of us are developers how many of us are developers few enough because i think as far as i'm concerned mostly you either have to be a developer or you work at a desk for you to view websites primarily through your laptop because most of us use phones yeah our phones are our primary access to the internet. Uh, I don't think I'm lying. Yeah, so the point is when we, I started trying, uh, doing my research and seeing how best we could uh, integrate mobile payments into our website. And at the time there, was n there were no resources and I was in Mombasa at the time and I, I went to Safaricom house and I asked if they had an API, and the person I talked to was the highest office holder in that place, had no idea what an API is. <laughs> so you're trying, and that's the only way you can actually do some of these things. So, um, first, if uh, along that journey, we got, in, we got to a point where when people saw, when online, more and more online stores were coming up, People figured the only way you could, um, there was a workaround because there were no APIs at the time. So the workaround was give someone a form. When someone is checking out, give them a form, let them enter their phone number, and then le and let them enter their M-Pesa receipt number. Like they would literally tell you uh, to pay for this item. <laughs> that you had a bunch of instructions. To pay for this item, go to your M-Pesa, uh, enter a pay bill, enter this pay bill, and then uh, enter this amount, and then once you've paid, enter the, your details down here. And that seemed like the only way, and it's rather cumbersome, because imagine if I'm buying something on a website on my phone, I have to close the browser, go to my M-Pesa, and then I would have to write the pay bill number somewhere, because I, I wouldn't remember, it's a six digit figure, and some of us can't remember two digits. So I have to <laughs> <laughs> So I have, you'd have to write the six digit number somewhere and uh, the amount and the account number as well, then go to M-Pesa, uh, pay, then wait for the message to come and then write out that M-Pesa receipt number and then type it in on the browser. That, is, that was too cumbersome. What we were looking for was a, a way we could simplify that. Even if it's not just reducing it to a single step, but Basically, make it more convenient <coughs> for, for customers who are paying. So what we envisioned was we need you to, because there's something called STK push, SIM toolkit push. That's uh, like when you're buying Airtel, when you dial something like star 100 hash, you get a pop-up, yeah? And then you have options. Enter one to do one thing, enter two to do this. That's called STK. Yeah, so we figured if you could do that for payments, because uh, if you look at the M-Pesa process, the normal process, the final process involves you entering your PIN number, yeah? And, but the previous processes before that just involved you entering some data, which is already available elsewhere. So we figured how about if you could just have a system that provides this other information so that all you have to do is enter your PIN. That way, you're going to cut down the number of uh, man hours. It's literally man hours wasted in just paying for an item online. And all you want is pay to pay. You don't want to read any other thing. You just want to pay and have your stuff delivered, right? So um, in 20, late 2015, um, that's when, when did Safaricom trans, uh, move their servers from Germany? Anyone who is aware of that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it, it, is, uh, it's, it isn't a significant point. But um, after Safaricom had moved their servers, uh, we sort of had more access to M-Pesa. And uh, that's the first time they released um, the initial API, the first API. This is the time we had uh, some sort of access to it. 
you know, so um, I, I would want to, because we are talking WordPress and because we are talking WooCommerce, I'm going to go a bit and uh, talk about, go back. I'll talk about WCM PESA, which is a plugin I developed a while back uh, for in accepting M-Pesa payments on your site. And I would say at the moment, um, there's a company called FinServe. It's a subsidiary of uh, Equity. And uh, they have APIs out. It's called Jenga. And they're supposed to help us integrate payments with uh, banks and other telcos. They have M-Pesa as well. And they have Equitel, EasyPay as well. So with I'm working on that as well. But for the time being, uh, Safaricom's Daraja is the most robust payments API we have in the country. Even the Jenga one is still a bit flaky. Okay, so um, like I said, WordPress powers a huge segment of the web. Yeah? And uh, majority of uh, the online stores in Kenya are built using WordPress. Yeah. And when I, when I say store, I don't, I'm not really talking about a fully fledged online shop like Jumia. I have some of the people who are using this plugin. There's one who sells flowers, house flowers, and you can buy them and he'll deliver them. Um, there's one who sells books. There's one who sells veggies. So it's, there's a wide variety. Literally, it's for anyone who is selling anything on their website, and they want to receive payments. So there are other plugins that allow you to sell stuff online, but I think Jeremy went through this and he said, I would vouch for WooCommerce. There's no point setting using any other. WooCommerce is the only one that's worth exploring. And uh, now that WooCommerce was bought by Automatic, which is a parent company of WordPress, you can be assured that it's going to be developed uh, more. So um, in a nutshell, WCM PESA is just a simple plugin that allows you to accept M-PESA payments on your site. So um, tomorrow we have uh, Developers Day. And I think after that, this plugin will be available on the plugin repository. So you'll be able to install it from uh, the WordPress dashboard. But uh, at the moment, the plugin is available on the website. And the website is here. So wc-mpesa.osen.co.ke. Um, I don't know if we have internet. But you, you can view the website. The website has pretty much all the details about the plugin. It also allows you to test the plugin from the site. So you can buy a test product, and uh, you can uh, pay for it. So what, what the way this plugin works, um, you have to configure it. Once you install it, you have to configure it. Uh, I would expect um, there are prerequisites to use this plugin. I told you about Daraja, which is a developer portal by Safaricom. You're supposed to create an app there. And the reason you need to create an app on the Raja is because you, you are dealing with M-Pesa. You're dealing with money. And uh, our laws are structured in such a way that there's, a, there's too much red tape. So for us to validate that you are a proper user, you need to create an app on the Raja. So once you create an app, of course you need a short code. A short code is either a till number or a pay bill. I would really recommend you getting a pay bill over a till number because one, pay bills, um, till numbers are free, people pay for free. So <laughs> you are not, uh, for till numbers, people pay for free and you're going to incur all the costs. And then at least with pay bills, if you're getting a pay bill, you the costing model depends on the kind of pay bill you want. There are pay bills where the customer foots the whole bill yeah, there are pay bills where they charge as much as 50 shillings to for a transaction. Then there are pay bills where you split. 
So there are payables where you pay, you buy something on at a pay bill and you pay less than 20 shillings. And then there are those pay bills where the business uh, foots the whole bill. Like when you're buying airtime for telecom, it's free for you, but telecom have to pay for the costs, the transaction costs. So depending on the pay bill you get, but so you need a short code for that. And I would really advise on getting a pay bill over a uh, till number. Pay bills take only seven days at most. What you need is just, if your business is registered, you just need your business documents. That's all. Actually, you can start the process on your phone and then walk into a Safaricom shop and finish it. But it takes seven days at most. And then uh, you need an SSL certificate. Um, going from WordPress 5, there's a new version of WordPress that's come out. Uh, basically, from WordPress 5.0 going forward, it's all going to be supporting websites that are not secure. So if your website, if your host, if your website is not on HTTPS, if you do not have a secure protocol, uh, WordPress won't work on that, on such hosts. And uh, it's only, it's, it's for everyone's good. Because uh, with HTTPS, all the information that is uh, moved between uh, these website of yours and other servers is encrypted. So which means people can't steal like uh, data. People can't steal your customers' phone numbers. And I think it's, uh, it's worth mentioning that um, initially when we started having phone numbers, people didn't think of them as identifiers. But right now, your phone number identifies you. If I got your phone number, I'll get your name, I can get your ID number, and I can pretty much get where you live and what businesses you do and what you've paid for. So phone numbers have become very sensitive, and now we have uh, something called the GDPR, which is a, a law in Europe that sort of uh, restricts on what kind of information you are allowed to have from your customers and what you can do with that information. And yeah, GDPR is in Europe, but it applies to any company that might have a customer in Europe. So even if you have a, an online store here and one of your customers uh, maybe is Kenyan, but they moved to Europe and now they are part of a European country, their citizens there, technically you are required to adhere to GDPR. So basically, uh, for now, having HTTPS sort of uh, buffers you against anyone stealing your customer data. And it makes sure that the transactions are encry encrypted and they're very secure. And then of course, you need a server. You can test on local host, but here we are talking about online stores. So I'm, I'm thinking it's for uh, a store that already exists, uh, it's online. And then of course, you need access to the M-Pesa web portal. Um, M-Pesa has a web portal that allows you, when you have a till number or a pay bill, it allows you to log in and view your transactions. You can do reversals, you can do transfers. You need access to that portal as well when you're going to use this plugin. So like I said, the files are available on the website. You simply have to download them and upload them to the plugin to your admin. But after tomorrow, it will be available in the plugin repository. So you'll just go to plugins and then search for WCM PESA and you'll find it and just install it from there. So once you've installed it, you need to configure. Those prerequisites I, 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 uh, we've talked about, you need to um, configure them here. So of course, it's, uh, you need to enable the Lipan PESA, then you can edit the title, how you want it to be seen when the user checks out, now, uh, the environment bit, uh, when Safaricom Daraja allows you to test your app before going into production, it allows you to test to see whether it's working fast. So you can test with uh, some little amounts and then they are, they are usually refunded by the end of the day. So when you say there are two types of environment, there's sandbox for testing and then there's production or live when you're in production. That is uh, when you're live, basically. So you need to set the environment. I would suggest you try with uh, the sandbox first, because uh, there's no point 
deploying an app that you're not sure it works, right? Yeah. And then identifier type, um, Safaricom has, M-Pesa has a, a number, it's quite an array of identifier types, but generally what, what is important to us here is um, pay bills for, in our case, pay bills have the identifier type of four, this number four, and then uh, till numbers are probably six, I think. No, till numbers are two, and then uh, phone numbers one. So at the moment, the plugin supports only till numbers and pay bills, but uh, we are working with Safaricom to see w whether we can support the other one, phone numbers, because peer-to-peer uh, -peer payments are still a big issue because of our laws, our financial laws. And then um, the PESA short code, that's your till number or your pay bill. And then uh, when you create an app on uh, Daraja, which is the Safaricom developer portal, the app has a consumer key and it has a consumer secret. You need those two details when you're configuring this one. And then of course, there's an online pass key which is also provided and you can use that as well. And then the other details, account name, prefix, and accountant, you can, they're not as important. But basically the account name, this plugin has um, when you're paying via M-Pesa and you, uh, you've entered all the details, you get a pop-up asking you, do you want to pay this amount to this business for this account, yeah? You, all of you, I, I think all of us are paid via M-Pesa, yeah? Mm. And there's usually an account number. Sometimes it's a name, sometimes it's a number, sometimes it's a mix of the two. So what this plugin does, because you're talking about WordPress orders, when someone is making an order, every order has a, a number, yeah? An ID. So what this plugin does is it takes the, it takes the order ID, then it uh, prefixes it with WC. So you have, if I was buying something and the order is 18, uh, the account number that will show up on the pop-up will be WC 18. Now you can change that. If you have a business called Mauko Business, and uh, you want, when the user pays, they want to see the account name as Mauko, then you can change that in the settings and uh, show whatever you want to be seen. So it's straightforward. Most of these details, you're already going to have them. So you're just literally just pasting them, copying them from somewhere and pasting them. The plugin has a few, at the top, when you, check, when you look at the settings, there are, uh, there are instructions, and I put, huge text there in red saying important, because it's important. And I receive calls every day, people asking me about those instructions. They're asking me what to do, and I tell them, please check the settings, because <laughs> all the instructions are there. So basically, the instructions, the first instruction says, please create an app on Daraja if you haven't. You're not going to do anything without an app on Daraja. Two, for security purposes and for the IPN, instant payment notification, to work, your site has, your site has to, to run over SSL. That means it has to be secure. And then uh, you can register confirmation and validation URLs, which are not as necessary, really. And then when you're in Sandbox and you want to test, there's a link there saying you can test, you can generate Sandbox test credentials here. So if you need credentials to test, like you need a pay bill number to play around with from Safaricom and you need um, an online pass key to play around with, if you click that link, you'll get those details. So it's just a matter of copying them and pasting them in the settings. So once you've configured the plugin, the plugin does pretty much everything else for you. That's all you have to do, literally. The configuration, that's all you have to do. So one, if you've configured your plugin correctly, your customers will see a checkout option. When they're checking out, they'll see an option to pay via M-Pesa. So they'll see Lipa and M-Pesa with instructions. The instructions that are here so far, it just says cross-check your details above before pressing the button because we are using the, uh, when someone is checking out using WooCommerce, they enter their details, yeah? Their name, their address, their phone number, and other things. So basically these instructions just say, cross-check your details to 
confirm that they are correct before pressing the button. And then it says that your phone number must be registered with M-Pesa. Of course, if you're deducting M-Pesa, the phone number has to be registered. And then uh, it says you'll get a pop-up on your phone asking for your, asking you to confirm the payment. Enter your M-Pesa PIN to proceed, and then you'll receive a confirmation message shortly. These instructions, you can also alter them in the settings. You can change them to whatever you want. If you feel like they're too rigid, you can change them to whatever you want. So our customer wants to pay via M-Pesa, buys a product, adds it to cart, and then checks out, goes to the checkout page, then finds there's an option via to pay via M-Pesa. Selects that option, and, and then presses the button to, to, to place the order. So what happens here is that once they press the button, there's a, the SDK push comes on top of the phone. So that is, uh, remember when I said about how you in the past you had to leave the web browser to go to M-Pesa? So this one, if they were buying something on an app or in a, on a website in the browser, they don't have to leave it because the pop-up comes on top of the browser telling them something like this. Do you want to pay 42 shillings to this company for this account? Enter your PIN. So the, all the customer enters the PIN, presses OK, and that's all they, it's, that's required from them. So once they enter the PIN, um, M-Pesa processes the payment, deducts the M-Pesa processes that payment, deducts the money, and the plugin will process your order. It receives uh, details from Safari from M-Pesa, and it will update your order with the receipt number. So there's no need for the customer to come back and enter that receipt number because the plugin already handles that for you. So if you look at this, it, has, it simplifies. Uh, it makes it convenient for both you as the seller and for your customer because now your customer only has one step one for payment, just one step. They only have to enter their PIN. And for you as uh, the seller, uh, your order will be processed and you'll, you'll have the M-Pesa receipt number. And another feature we added to this plugin is that it has, it lists all your M-Pesa payments separately from the orders. It will list them separately. So you can literally just view them and you can confirm those details if you want. But the plugin handles the processing by itself. So basically that's all it, the plugin does. Uh, it extends WooCommerce, so it means you have to have WooCommerce installed, and uh, it adds the M-Pesa payment options, and it processes that as well. So um, this plugin is running on, uh, last I checked, it's running on uh, eight or nine websites, but another one called me today, so probably 90. And uh, this plugin is free. Yeah. <laughs>